hello friends uh, so i welcome you all to this lecture on forestry production pest and disease management of major trees grown in india and watershed management friend this is from the syllabus of our icr jrf mba entrance examination in this lecture i will be covering forestry production forests and uh, watershed management and in next lecture uh, i will be covering the pest and disease management of major trees grown in india so without wasting time let us start so before uh, going to the forestry production let us see what are the uh, what is the forest so according to united nations uh, fao definition the lands which are spanning more than 0.5 hectare with trees higher than 5 meter and canopy cover of more than 10% are uh, called as forest, forests uh, but however uh, as per forest survey of india forest cover refers to lands at measuring 1 hectare or more means in india if the land is 1 hectare and more and having a tree canopy density of 10% or more Uh, irrespective of the origin of forest stand ownership land use and le legal status uh, so such uh, such land is known as forest land we all know the benefits of the forests uh, these forests are providing large variety of timber fiber food water and environment Uh, protection we will be dealing with the product uh, from forest in subsequent slides friends uh, forest is the second largest land use next to agriculture this may come in your exam that uh, what is the second largest land use next to agriculture so that is forest india has a wide range of forests and they relate to distinctive topography terrain wildlife climate and vegetation uh, india launched its national forest policy in 1988 and uh, which is concentrated on the importance of forest resources as a significant part of economy and ecology of the nation Uh, so coming to the present status of forest cover so india lands with tree canopy density of 70% and above are known as very dense forest moderately dense forests are where the canopy density is 40% more than 40% but less than 70% and open open forests are where tree canopy density is more than 10% but less than 40% so if we see area wise madhya pradesh is having the largest forest cover arunachal pradesh is second and chatisgarh is third and uh, if we see percentage cover to total geographic area then lakshadweep with 90.33% is having the first rank all over india so this is an important question for your exam forests type coming to the forest type in india there are six major groups moist tropical dry tropical montane subtropical montane temperate subalpine and alpine further these forest groups are divided into 16 major types of forest uh, i don't feel that the remembering all these are important but just see uh, tropical wet evergreen forest tropical semi evergreen forest tropical moist deciduous forest littoral and swamp forests tropical dry deciduous forest tropical thorn forest tropical dry evergreen for evergreen forest tropical subtropical broad leaved hill forest then subtropical pine forest subtropical dry evergreen forest montane wet temperate forest himalayan moist temperate forest himalayan dry temperate forest subalpine forest moist alpine and dry alpine scrub 
now uh, from this part questions may arise the initiatives of government of india so national forest policy we have already uh, uh, mentioned that it is for protection conservation and development of forests agroforestry agro forestry is a emerging term where the forestry and agriculture is combined and land use system uh, is uh, planned in such a way which integrates trees and shrubs on farmlands and rural landscapes to enhance productivity profitability diversity diversity and ecosystem sustainability so uh, india is the first country in the world to have a national policy on agroforestry which was uh, which was which has come to place on in in the year 2014 again this is also important national policy on biofuels uh, is announced by uh, india in 2009 then what are the biofuels biofuels are liquid or gaseous fuels produced from biomass resources and used in place of uh, place or in addition to diesel or petrol so biofuels are uh, liquid or gaseous fuels which are produced from biomass resources and used in place or in addition to diesel and petrol so there are three categories of biofuels bioethanol biodiesel and other biofuels so bioethanol the constitu main constituent is ethanol and it is extracted from the uh, sugar cane sugar beet sweet sorghum so these all are sweet sweet type of uh, materials then another uh, biodiesel biodiesel is uh, extracted from fatty acids so these are uh, see these are all are uh, oil type of things vegetable oils edible and non edible or animal fat fat so what is the constituent in this methyl or ethyl ester so biofuel are of three kinds bioethanol biodiesel and other biofuels constituent bioethanol constituent is uh, ethanol uh, and sources are sugar cane sugar beets sweet sorghum biodiesel fatty acids again vegetable oils edible or non edible and uh, other biofuels it is uh, from biomethanol or uh, biosynthetic this is important initiative of government of india national bamboo mission national bamboo mission was uh, started and uh, bamboo was termed as green gold during 2018 19 budget and uh, as bamboo is a tax uh, taxonomically is, it is a grass uh, so in indian forest amendment ordinance 2017 uh, bamboo was dis declassified as a grass Uh, and uh, disclassified uh, as a grass means now if you call bamboo earlier it bamboo was a tree but now bamboo is a grass so uh, with this what will be improving means you can cultivate bamboo and uh, for better uh, economic growth bamboo products can be marketed coming to the forest research in india so uh, indian council of forestry research and education icfre is a apex body in the in, uh, national forestry research system this is important then advanced research center for bamboo and uh, rattan it is uh, avail it is situated in aizwal arid forest research institute situated in jodhpur center for forest based livelihood and extension situated in agartala center for forestry research and human resource development chindwara center for social forestry and eco rehabilitation allahabad forest research institute dehradun this is important forest research in india continuing Himalayan Forest Research Institute is situated in Shimla. 
इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फॉरेस्ट डाइवर्सिटी इन हैदराबाद इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फॉरेस्ट जेनेटिक्स एंड ट्री ब्रीडिंग दिस इज इन कोयम्बूर दिस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फॉरेस्ट प्रोडक्टिविटी रांची इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ वुड साइंस एंड टेक्नोलॉजी बैंगलोर रेन फॉरेस्ट रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट जोरहट ट्रॉपिकल फॉरेस्ट रिसर्च इंस्टीट्यूट जबलपुर वन विज्ञान केंद्र दीज आर एट वेरियस प्लेसेस इंडियन इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ फॉरेस्ट फॉरेस्ट मैनेजमेंट दिस इज इम्पॉर्टेंट इट इज सिचुएटेड इन भोपाल इंडियन प्लाईवुड इंडस्ट्रीज रिसर्च एंड ट्रेनिंग इंस्टीट्यूट बैंगलोर गोविंद वल्लभ पंत इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ हिमालयन एनवायरमेंट एंड डेवलपमेंट सिचुएटेड इन आर अल्मोला एंड वाइल्ड लाइफ इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंडिया सिचुएटेड इन देहरादून नेक्स्ट टॉपिक इज वाटर शेड मैनेजमेंट वाटर शेड मैनेजमेंट इज अ प्रोसेस ऑफ गाइडिंग एंड ऑर्गेनाइजिंग द यूज ऑफ लैंड एंड अदर रिसोर्स इन अ वाटर शेड टू प्रोवाइड डिजायर्ड गुड्स एंड सर्विसेज विदाउट एडवर्सली अफेक्टिंग सॉइल एंड वाटर रिसोर्सेज सो uh suppose this is a village and it is having some water uh, some some resources like a barren land is there which can be used as a pond then what uh, people will do that they will uh, through our pri system they will be constructing some reservoir type of things so that the uh, waste water can be used for irrigation purpose and for some economic use can be done from that uh, waste resources so this is called watershed development the programs adopt a common strategy of multi resource management involving all stakeholders with the watershed who together as a group cooperatively identify the resource issues and concerns of the watershed as well as develop and implement a watershed plan with solution that are environmentally socially and economically sustainable so it is a uh, common strategy is there multiple stakeholders are there and they are doing the things cooperatively cooperatively okay now this is a part of our syllabus so please pay attention over this watershed management programs in india so whatever is written in syllabus please don't uh, don't don't whatever is uh, in syllabus we have to cover all the things okay and uh, that is the key from where the Uh, questions should not be missed if uh, jrf is to be secured then uh, what we was uh, what we were discussing watershed management programs in india so national wasteland development board was uh, constituted under ministry of environment and forest in 1985 it was uh, later on a separate department of wasteland development in ministry of rural and poverty elevation was created in 1992 and what happened in 1999 department of wasteland department development was renamed as the department of land resources to act as a nodal agency for land resource management this is the recent program Niranchal watershed program which is being implemented in nine participating states Andhra Pradesh Chhattisgarh Jharkhand Gujarat Madhya Pradesh Maharashtra Odisha Rajasthan and Telangana and uh, the major objective is watershed component of Pradhan Mantri Krishi Sinchai Yojana uh, the slogan of which is har khet ko pani some important points regarding forests uh, black revolution pertains to biofuel produ- production the concerned crop is jatropha 21st march is uh, world forestry day national forest policy india 1988 envisages a goal of eti- achieving 33% of geographical area of the country under forest and tree cover so at as per this national forest policy of india 1988 33% of the our country must be under forest cover so how much it is now so if we consider here 
21.67 percent of our geographical area is under forest cover so uh, we are somewhat short uh, by 12 percent india has ranked third among the top 10 countries that have gained forest areas in last decade uh, the last the latest global forest resource assessment brought out by the food agriculture organization means india has ranked third among the top 10 countries who have that have gained in forest areas so that is a good news that we are gaining and we are third now coming to the forest production as we have already discussed that forest uh, production uh, so many things we are getting from from forest and if we define it in terms of forest produce uh, forest indian forest act 1927 then we will get that Uh, forest uh, products includes timber, charcoal, wood oil, resins, natural varnish, bark, lac, mahua, then flower trees, leaves, flowers, fruits, plants, so many things, wild animals, skins, tusks, horns, bones, cocoons, silk, honey, wax, other parts or produce of animals and also include peat surface soil rocks mineral etc when found inside or brought from a forest among other thing whether uh, you find it in forest place or you take it out from the forest place okay but taking out is not so easy <laughs> it is protected so forest products uh, again we can uh, classify it into two major groups one is wood products and another is non wood products wood products contains timber sandalwood and plywood non wood forest products again uh, so many things as uh, it is clear from the definition so many things are there so uh, majorly when we classify it it is kendu leaves bamboo honey medicinal plants and rubber uh, here I have uh, gathered some important uh, points uh, related to forest products which is uh, important, which are important. Uh, so some grasses like Sabai, uh, Eulaliopsis, Binata are also used for rope and paper making. So uh, being a agri-business graduate, we are more concerned about business. So we are finding something some some something have something should happen from every agricultural activity that's why it is agri business not culture business so we are finding something some economic uh, some something important from economic point of view so we have found some grasses so sabai uliopsis binata is used in rope and paper making the <coughs> Sorry, the roots of khas grass are used for making cooling screens. Moonj, a tall grass, is used for making chicks, stools, chairs, etc. Bamboo is called poor man's timber. Tannins are secretion pro products of plant tissues. Tannins uh, are majorly used in leather industry and uh, friends uh, common uh, commonly used tanning material is um, myrobalan nuts and bark of wattle and also this uh, indian gooseberry means this avla uh, leaves are also used as a tanning material important points on forest products continuing this some important dyes are obtained from red sander care flowers of palas, fruits of kamal tree or kumkum tree, bark of wattle and roots of Indian mulberry. So these are some trees from where dyes are extracted. Then uh, some important uh, uh, oils are also extracted. They are extracted from sandalwood, lemongrass, khas, eucalyptus, and globulus resins uh, are also a uh, forest products uh, which are 
obtained mainly resin is obtained from cheer pine cheer is a cheer is a tree which is cheer cheer pine is a tree from where uh, resins are obtained then another very important forest product is lac so lac is a most important animal product obtained from forest it is secreted by uh, in insect lacifer laca so this is important for your exam uh, so lac uh, is secreted by lacifer laca which feeds on the saps of a large variety of trees like palash people kusum sisir kul gular bear banyan jojoba and gone so in on the uh, on the leaves of uh, these trees uh, this particular insect is found uh, which is uh, which is uh, which is responsible for production of lax then other than this quinine one drug is also a important uh, minor product uh, which is extracted from forests then so many medicinal plants medicinal products are being uh, fetched from forests like roots of ashwagandha semal dhatura sarpagandha morphal etc leaves of ban nimbu dhatura etc and whole plant of jakhya bajar bhang latarjra etc these are used as medicinal plant so thank you very much uh, for watching and uh, in next slide so this might have given a overview of uh, forest products and forest cover forestry and uh, government of india initiatives regarding uh, forest products in next uh, lecture we will be covering the major trees grown Uh, they are pests and diseases which is also included in our jrf syllabus thank you very much